In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, S.E.T.J.M. On the Daily Readings from the Holy Mass, Saturday of the fourth week of Advent, Christmas Eve. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, Zechariah is filled with the Holy Spirit. In his prayer, the Benedictus has two parts. First, he remembers what God has done. Then he tells his son that God has a plan for his life. The first part. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Then Zechariah speaks of the oath that the Lord spoke to Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Zechariah reminds his family what God has done through the generations and what God has promised to do. Then Zechariah speaks to John, You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. Zechariah is speaking to John about God's will for his life and that God has a plan and purpose for him. So there are two parts to the Benedictus, Zechariah's prayer. Part one, to remember what God has done. And part two, for his son to know that God has a plan for his life. My brothers and sisters, isn't this what we're called to do at Christmas? To remember that Christ was born for us and all that Christmas means for us. And to let others know that God has a plan for their life. And that those who go to Bethlehem will find it. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. Today I invite you all to be pilgrims. That we may go on pilgrimage to Bethlehem together with and through the heart of our mother and the heart of St. Joseph. That like the shepherds of Magi, we may adore the child Jesus. Let us go on pilgrimage together to Bethlehem to remember the great things that God has done and to encounter the child Jesus where we will find his perfect plan of love for our lives. All for the heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary.